My heart hurts when we're only looking at menopause through the lens of HRT, or we're only looking at having the conversation that a menopausal woman is a little crazy in her brain. Like, we don't want to miss this moment. This is our moment. Yes. And what if we looked at that grief and that sorrow or sadness, or even what I was talking about before, the uncomfortable things as part of the human experience. And we allowed ourselves to human with one another over it Mm. because maybe that sadness and that sorrow is literally allowing ourselves to feel it, is allowing ourselves to identify the tools that need to be in the toolbox. Because we're so Mm -hmm. quick to jump to the toolbox. We're so quick to create the fix That's patriarchal. That's the patriarchal. Right? That's yes. I'm used to living in a world that has structure and you're now Mm -hmm. asking me to unstructure myself to find myself. How do I do that? Exactly. And believe me, I am the biggest culprit of in my moments when I am still, you know, living off of the high of just having a fix it kit, which that high is short lived because it always Mm -hmm. fails you at the end of the day. I will, I want someone to just tell me, I would be that one on your social page saying, okay, Mindy, just tell me what to do. But I will say that place allowing that sadness to not only create stillness and maybe a little bit of silence, which is Mm. scary too. I've heard you talk about, you know, even writing your book, that stillness and that silence can be so scary scary because it's It's super scary yeah but that's the traveling professor that's Mm. the informant Mm. for not only how we show up in our next step but how we empower the woman beside us to show up too 